Good morning. It was customary to release one prisoner at the feast each year. Who would it be? Jesus or Barabbas? Today we're looking at Mark chapter 15, verses 6 to 15. Now at the feast he was accustomed to releasing one prisoner to them, whomever they requested. And there was one named Barabbas, who was chained with his fellow rebels. They had committed murder in the rebellion. Then the multitude, crying aloud, began to ask him to do just what he had always done for them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that the chief priests had handed him over because of envy. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd so that he should rather release Barabbas to them. Pilate answered and said to them again, What then do you want me to do with him, who you call king of the Jews? So they cried out again, Crucify him. Then Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? But they cried out all the more, Crucify him, crucify him. So Pilate wanted to gratify the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and he delivered Jesus after he had scourged him to be crucified. So our text tells us the basic truth. Pilate figured it out, this basic truth anyway. He realized that the priest wanted to have Jesus killed because of envy. And so he recognized that, he knew that, he figured that out. But Pilate wanted to release Jesus, so he decided, I'll let them choose between this obvious bad guy in Jesus, and we'll, that's the way we'll get Jesus out of this. And you know, the fact that the Jews hated Pilate and hated Jesus, maybe even that had something to do with helping Pilate have a special connection with Jesus, because he knew they were both hated by these ridiculous religious leaders. But anyway, he goes ahead and puts this in front of them, and what do you have? Now, Barabbas is an interesting name. It means the son of Bar is the son, and Abbas means the father. And his name literally translates to the son of the father. Well, who was the real son of the father here? Jesus was. Barabbas was a son of his father. That's true also. His father was the, a murderer from the beginning, John 8, 44. His father was Satan. He was a known murderer, a known criminal. And so, but the priests instigate the crowd. They tell them, release Barabbas, release Barabbas, not Jesus. And so this is the decision that they're going to make right here, right here on the spot. They're going to choose a murderer instead of a giver of life. So there were three choices here. For the Jewish leaders, between Christ and Antichrist. For Pilate, between the Jewish leaders and Jesus. For Jesus, the choice is between eternal life for all who would be willing to come to him, or to turn and save his own skin. Three choices here being made. So the Jews choose Barabbas, Pilate chooses the Jews, and Jesus chooses to go through the, all the way and to die on the cross to give you and me eternal life. And any of those murderous priests and anybody who repents. Eternal life for them too. The contrast is indescribable. So who is released by all this? us. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the, the choice that Jesus made here. Oh, it's so sad, the choices that were made by the others, rejecting the prince of life. But Lord, you made the choice, Jesus made the choice to get to die for us in our place, to be punished for us in our place, and to give us a gift we don't deserve, a gift of eternal life. Lord, thank you Help us to to follow you every day and to live it out what Jesus has paid such a high price for and what you have paid such a high price for. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. Thank you for these opportunities. In Jesus' name, amen. So Jesus paid a very high price for us. We, We can never repay it, but we can live and serve him, and that will please him. And if that's what pleases Jesus, that's what I want to do. God be with you today. Have a wonderful day.